Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Ducks of a Feather Air Max 1. There were only 120 pairs of this shoe made and this release was definitely something that we don't usually see that often. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers, giving you guys in-depth reviews, breaking down the styles, cuts, materials, and all those fancy things. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this box because this is already something that we don't typically see. I'm excited to crack these things open, bro. This is a dope shoe. Starting with the lid of the box, as you can see, you have your classic hands, you got your all over black with the white logo, and then you have your Oregon Ducks right here in green, and at the top of the lid, it switches to black on the green areas just below that and then on the other side all green all green and then on here it says limited with kind of a light faint kind of green color to that and then on the size tag it reads M Nike Air Max 1 UO size 14 unfortunately not for me I'll explain to you guys in a second and there's no specific retail on this shoe either these things were sold through an NFT which I'll explain to you guys in a bit as well now lifting open the lid of the box as you can see right here you have your all over QR code with the Oregon duck in the middle I'm assuming this is supposed to represent the NFT that was purchased or the website or whatever it may be I didn't get a chance to scan it yet but I'm pretty sure that's probably what it has to do with it now looking at the paper you have an all over U of O ducks print on there and then peeling about the paper we got the shoe oh we got the shoe okay first impressions of this sneaker yeah these are pretty fire but these things pop for sure especially with the colors I'm excited to break these down but before we do that you know on this channel we always got to talk about the history first so let's break it down on how we even got to this point as some people may or may not know Tinker Hatfield was the designer of the Air Max one and he has created special colorways and collaborations for the University of Oregon players over the past 10 plus years and now they're coming to this new era of having the division street which is something that is done by phil knight and that is his foundation that gives the opportunity for the players at the school now to be able to make money through different products like this and other brand opportunities so as you previously saw me breaking down the air jordan 8 and how they sold that on stock x and the whole process and how the money was going back to the players and then i showed you guys in that review this is a similar type of thing but now it was done through an nft so how exactly does that work so what they decided to do was announce the launch day in time and then from there they did a dutch auction so basically the price starts at about 12 ethereum and the bottom price is one ethereum and from there it starts and it slowly goes down and if your size starts to sell you got to kind of bid and get it at that price or you could try to be patient and get it for a lower price as it continues to go down throughout the day but you got to play that risk and not knowing if you're going to be able to get the shoe or not so that was something that a lot of people was worried about so some people got it at a really high price and other people got it at really good deals because they were able to be patient and they got lucky getting their size or they just said you know what i'll grab whatever i can get based on the lowest price so after you put your bid in on the nft which means you have this screenshot like every other nft you'll have a photo an image a, a video image whatever you want to call it that goes into your wallet on metamask or coinbase or whatever it is that you hold your wallets with your nfts and everything that's a whole nother world of stuff that i'm still not fully into yet so i don't know everything but when it comes to that you basically purchase the nft and then you go through the process of saying hey this is my shoe i'm claiming it this is my address ship me the shoes and then they had a certain date that they shipped the shoes out which was recently over the past couple weeks and it was kind of a couple month process Process. But in that process, it was also dope because Tinker Hatfield was actually able to sign all the shoes, which we'll get into in a second. So at the time, on average, most of these pairs were selling for somewhere around two Ethereum. And at that time, the Ethereum was worth somewhere around $3,500. So two Ethereum or just under two Ethereum could say roughly the sneaker was selling for $6,000 or $7,000 per pair. Now that sounds like a lot of money and honestly it is, but for some people, this is more of a charitable donation or somebody supporting a different thing that has a bigger cause so because this was from the division street program and the money is allocated to the players this is how the split went 67.5 percent of the money went to the players 10 percent of the money went back to the division street fund and the other 22.5 percent of the money went back to the production cost and the staffing and everything like that so basically the players were definitely able to get a lot of money and if you were on the football team you got a nice little check to say the least typically the u of o football team has just over 100 players on the squad so for them to have 120 
120 players that gives them an opportunity to all roughly get around five to seven thousand dollars per person and that's what gives the players the opportunity to get paid out equally and have a good check so hopefully that explains it all for you guys on the broader end now let's start breaking down the details of this shoe and we could talk about resale prices later in the video because you guys are gonna be surprised on what people are asking for these shoes now starting with the bottom of the shoe you have your classic Air Max one outsole this is gonna be a dark kind of forest green vibe to that and then you got this more neon lime green going up to the midsole on the air unit that looks like you got a dark green as well matching the outsole and then on this felt kind of nubuck material that you have here on the upper around the top end of the mud guard this is also going to be that dark green matching with the outsole now when it comes to the upper you're going to have your classic mixture of about three different materials you got two different types of meshes and then you got more of this felt type material when it comes to the darker and lighter greens that you see around the midfoot or around the heel looking at the top of the toe this resembles the same materials that you would see on your classic og white and red air max one but now it's just in that lime green and that also translates up to the tongue as well now this is a dope touch when we get to the tongue you have a rubber ducky right here it's actually funny i call it a rubber ducky because it's like a rubber material and then it's the duck so you know what i'm saying i know it's not a yellow rubber ducky but i call it the rubber ducky so you got this material right here with a rubber duck and then it's got kind of the different colors right here and these are going to kind of also represent the colors that you see on the nfts so it's a nice mixture of that and you have that same rubber swoosh here with the different colors as well in that pattern on the back of the heel you have a nike air classic to the air max one and then on the back of the heel on the left foot you have the university of oregon O. looking at the sock liner and behind the tongue you have a green hit right here and then the same pattern that you saw on the swoosh or on the duck you're gonna have that striped pattern going throughout the insole as well it looks like it's all throughout the whole insole with the o on the right foot and the same thing on the left foot. Now when it comes to the standard laces on this shoe, you have an all white lace, but these are a lot thicker, a little bit heavier grade when it comes to that. And then on the green pair, this is more standard to your classic just flat shoelaces. Another dope touch is this hang tag right here. It says ducks of a feather. That's the common theme of the NFT as you saw in the box and the same thing that you see right here. So this is kind of a dope hang tag, something that we don't typically see too often. And it actually looks like it's kind of glowing all the time, which is super dope. And then the last and final hit that everybody loves to see what number they have that number represents the nft as well so so if you look right here it says 118 out of 120 and then it has tinker's autograph just above that and this is something that is going to be on every single pair each one is going to be numbered differently but you're going to see that same touch with the autograph i know some people were wishing that he autographed both shoes but i think it is dope that he actually autographed the left foot because that has the oregon ducks logo on it in particular so i think just overall it looks like a simple shoe yet it pops crazy with the colors but there are some cool details and materials and mixtures as well so so with all that being said let's talk about other people's opinions of this shoe if they think it's fire or trash and prices and numbers and resales and everything on what my predictions are in the future so if you haven't already follow me on instagram so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel i asked the people the question is this shoe fire or trash this is what they said 75 percent of the people chose fire and 25 percent of the people chose trash and i completely understand i already knew this was going to win in the fire category i was just interested to see how fire people thought the shoe was now me i can say i'm kind of on that same fence of the 75 25 i wouldn't say this is just like oh this is a 10 out of 10 sneaker but i think the concept and everything behind it especially with me being an organ baby and loving all these organ sneakers and having the different things in my collection is something that gravitated to me wanting to have the shoe in my collection now when it comes to price that goes to the next question do i want to spend five six seven thousand dollars on an air max one and i could spend less on an air jordan organ pe and get something that i like even more so that's kind of the debate that i've been having of like how bad do i really want this shoe yes it's going to be a little bit hard to get it and then this whole process with the nft thing that's a whole nother topic people are literally trying to sell the nft for like five bands, just the NFT, no shoe included. Like, what, what? If you gonna sell me a $5,000 NFT, I better get the shoes, bruh. And they better be brand new. Now, like I said earlier, unfortunately, this is not my pair, but luckily I'm able to give you guys a review. I was on Katya's channel. If you haven't checked her channel out before, make sure you do. It's called Kicks and Cocktails. We shot a video and we were talking about this and we made a special drink that kind of mixed up and made the same colors and everything. I borrowed these from her. Shout out to Sue. Appreciate you, bruh, for letting me get these as well. And um, yeah, 
I really do need to add these to my collection though, you know what I'm saying? Like, if this was a size 13, I would be putting an offer in, but I know, you know, he's not gonna let them go, so I gotta find somebody with a size 13. And that's another thing. Let's talk about that real quick. Remember when I told y'all it's hard to get the bigger sizes? This is a prime example. If you go to the website, you can see. They only have a few pairs of size 13, a few pairs of 12 and a half, more size 12s, and then as the size gets smaller, there's more pairs available, and then as you can see, 14, and I think there's only one size 15 that was available so basically this is a prime example of how things go when you want the shoe in a size 13 14 or 15 your odds are so slim because they just don't make them like they literally don't make nearly as many pairs as they do for other people and it becomes really hard to get the shoe that you want especially when you got to spend five six racks on a sneaker it's like you better get your size so that way you can at least wear it someday so i don't know that's my struggle that's my problem i still need the shoe i'm trying to get these i'm glad i got you guys the review though let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and we got a lot of cool stuff coming for you so stick around to the end of the video Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, I just wanted to let you guys know we have merch in production and it is about to happen. So drop a comment down below with what merch ideas you have. And we might consider throwing that into the fleet as well. And stay tuned for more updates on that.